Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen and this is Eileen Ashley is Red Hot and Flashy. If you didn't see my last video, I announced that I had changed my YouTube channel name because um, it was very difficult for you guys to find me under Red Hot and Flashy. So I just added my first name to it and I now come up in the search. So much easier. I hope you guys like it. As you can see, I'm fresh out of the shower. All I did was my skincare. Today, I wanted to um, review a new blow dryer that I bought. So I did a review on the Revlon Hot Airbrush Dryer. I don't remember the exact name of it. And I will link that up here if you guys are interested in watching it. But while I was in Ulta with my daughters weeks ago, weeks ago, I came across a blow dryer that I thought would be great. So just so you know, if you guys um, have been following me, you already know this, but I was diagnosed years ago with fibromyalgia and I have a really hard time um, keeping my arms up to uh, when I'm blow drying my hair. So the Revlon really came in handy because it cut down the drying time. So I thought this one <laughs> would be even more helpful. So it is the Babyliss Pro nano titanium rotating hot airbrush with a two inch barrel and this is what it looks like I hold it like that so i'll just read you a little bit about it it says the nano titanium is an exceptional conductor of heat maintains stability in ultra high temperatures it emits natural ions that eliminate frizz and create smooth shiny hair it yields maximum far infrared heat, penetrating the hair from within for gentle styling without damaging your hair. So I thought this would probably be good for people like me, maybe if you have arthritis or any kind of condition where you're having trouble, you know, with your with your hands or just um, holding your arms up. Um, yeah, so I figured I'd give it a try. Hmm. Let me let me open the package up for you guys. I'm assuming this is a cover. No, no, it isn't. I don't know what this is. Let's see. It did come with a little booklet. I'm going to see if I can see what this thing is. The directions say, which, um, I don't know, kind of uh, is annoying. It says to use the hair dryer first, use a hair dryer first to dry your hair and remove excess moisture. Once the hair is 80% dry, you should start to create your style using the, nan the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium two inch rolling hot brush. So are they saying this is just a styling tool and not a blow dryer? I don't know. But if that's the case, then that's a waste of money. But, my hair probably is already 80% dry under here. So this is a protective cover for the bristles so that they don't get distorted, they said. Um, I'm not sure how it goes on though. Oh, there we go. Oh, you just have to make sure that it's in between the bristles and then this way it protects those bristles. That's good. Now, there is also uh, three settings there's low, high, and cool, so that's good too. And there is uh, two speed settings too for the rotation. I'm not sure where they are located. I guess I should have read those directions better. But let me go ahead and plug it in. All right, before I start, I am going to be putting some product into my hair to uh, protect it. So today I have Brad Mondo's uh, or X Mondo uh, Force Field. It's a heat shield. And some also, this is um, Hydromania Conditioning Mist. It's just a leave on conditioner. And just brush that through. Let's go ahead and compare the two. Obviously, this one's much bigger and it is um, wider and it, then it's thin. It gets thin. Where this one's just plain all round. All right, let's take a look. I'm gonna put it on low. It's on low right now and I, there's two things here. I'm assuming that's the rotate. Oh yeah. 
Now it says there's two different levels of rotate. Let me look at the directions and find out how you do that. So it says to move the brush through the hair toward the ends. As you reach the end of your section, to start to rotate the brush away from the head by pressing and holding the appropriate rotate button. As you, re as you do this, resist the rotation of the brush by pulling the brush downward. Tension creates, uh, tension created through the section of the hair will help smooth the hair faster. It is important. It makes several attempts to perfect this technique. If the brush spins too quickly, simply release the rotation button and remove from the hair. For added root lift, hold the brush in place at the root for a few seconds. So I thought, yeah, there are two rotation speed settings. To make the brush head rotate, press the buttons marked, uh, the two buttons that I showed you. Uh, these will have, these will make the brush head rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. The rotation can be used on the low and high settings. When the appliance is used on the cool setting, the brush head will not rotate. Uh, for best results, use the rotating brush feature to create styles and gorgeous volume and shine. But it does not tell you how to uh, change the speed. I don't think um, there's a speed. I think maybe there's just two settings. I don't see how to change the speed on that. Oh yeah, because it just says speed control left, speed control right. So... Let's go ahead and section my hair. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. So now first we just dry it. I'm gonna do it on high. Ah! <laughs> and then it says as you get towards the bottom, to, oh, I rotated it the wrong way. As you get to the bottom to rotate it, so, oh. Well, that rotates fast. This is going to take some practice. There it goes. So if this happens to you, you can just do it the other direction and it'll come out. I think it takes a lot of practice here, especially figuring out which direction it goes. It definitely takes a lot of practice. kind of scary because you think it's getting caught in your hair. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> what happened if I turned it on? Last piece, let's see. I don't know that it really gave it any extra any extra body versus um, the Revlon, but I do like the fact that it curls all in one. <laughs> you can see that for sure. Um, but it definitely takes some getting used to because once you start um, rotating it, it gets a little scary thinking that it's gonna get all caught up. But as you could see, um, I kind of learned pretty quick. I kind of got used to it pretty quick. Oh, actually, I do like it. I guess there is a little more body in, isn't there? Yeah. 
especially coming straight from blow drying my hair. Um, if you guys have this blow dryer, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you guys think of it. One thing I will say though, it is great for somebody who has trouble blow drying their hair, especially if you need the blow dryer and the brush at the same time. It, it's difficult if you have any kind of, um, you know, arthritis or any kind of pain in your body whatsoever, because it does cut down on the drying time. And, um, you know, basically it was only one, one thing. I didn't have to hold up two uh, for a long time, but I like it. So sorry, I did it again. I forgot to write down the price. I think it was on sale though. Um, maybe it was $80. I will link it down below for you guys. I'll give you the price and uh, the link. If I can find a link for it, um, I don't get paid. It's not sponsored. I don't get any commission off of it. But if you're interested, I'll link it below. If you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It goes a long way with my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate you guys being part of my family. Until next time, everybody. Bye.